It's my feet. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm talking. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Walking Buddy. Haven't shot one of these in, it feels like a while, but I guess it really hasn't been that long. Um, last one I did, I did for Father's Day, where I walked around my old hometown in Newcastle, Delaware. Talked about my dad, fun stuff like that. And uh, shortly after that, I went on vacation, went to Williamsburg, Virginia. I was down there from last Saturday until the Saturday that just passed, two days ago. And some of you may know that uh, while I was down there, I got engaged. I got engaged to the lovely Lisa Stull, who writes under the pen name L.M. Stull. She's got a couple of great books out there that uh, I encourage you to check out. You can find her on Amazon.com and all other fine, fine places to buy books. But, you know, this isn't a promo. Well, it's not entirely a promo for Lisa's books. It's uh, me walking and talking. And I gotta tell you, <coughs> other than that cough right there, I'm a really happy and, oh man, I am like floating. I'm walking on air. Because uh, Lisa just made me the happiest man in the world. I love her so much. Lisa, if you're watching, and I think you might be. Every dream that I ever had and dreams that I didn't even know I had come true. So yeah, Buddy's a little giddy right now. Uh, people were wondering, asking a lot, you know, when, if we've set a date yet. And we haven't. We know it's going to be probably the beginning of next year at the latest. Knowing us, uh, it's, it could very likely happen before then. So, uh, anyway, yeah, very, very happy. Very much in love and happy. So, walking right now, back in Delaware. I gotta tell you, when I went, I wanted to talk about this. When I went down to Williamsburg, I took the train. And I gotta tell you, I really like in uh, train rides. I did that the last time I went down to Williamsburg, too. If I had driven down, I think it would have been, uh, I don't know, about four and a half five hour drive which isn't too bad I used to do those kinds of drives all the time but uh, I'd say it's kind of nice uh, just taking the train down I think it's like an hour more mainly because they all the stops like they stop in DC for about an hour but I love just getting on the train and uh, it's great because really people don't talk to you they don't try to talk to you which I really really like I gotta tell you you get onto a, a plane and go for a trip you're almost guaranteed to be sitting next to someone if you're flying coach. The train, not so much, unless it's sold out, which it was on the way back, which wasn't great. But, uh, yeah, I get on there. Really, I mean, other than, like, you know, walking in accidentally on someone in the bathroom and saying, oh, excuse me. I didn't have to talk to anyone the whole time I was there. And, uh, ma'am, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm, again, sorry for walking in on you in the bathroom. But, uh, yeah, I'm digging the train fun way to travel and like I said it was a uh, packed sold out thing on the way back which wasn't so bad uh, somehow no one sat next to me I think I was I was trying to look menacing do you want to see my menacing face <sighs> I was doing that and uh, I think it helped I think it helped no one sat next to me it was fine I sat there with my Kindle and read I was reading uh, Good Omens by Terry Brooks. Um, is it Terry Brooks? Sorry, Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. I've never read Terry Pratchett before, although people have always recommended him to me because of the humor in his books. And uh, I just haven't, but I really like Neil Gaiman a lot. I figured I'd give this book a shot. And I'm liking it, but I'm not loving it. I think it's one of the, you know, sometimes you get into a book and you really have to like work your way through some of the tough spots. And then it ends up being worthwhile. And I used to do that all the time. And I guess that's what I should do here too. But I'm realizing, my God, there's just so many books out there that I want to read. My Kindle is loaded with books. And uh, do I really want to like keep working my way through something in the hopes that it gets better? I probably will. But I do want to mention a book to you that just came out today on June 30th, 2014. And that's Crash. By David Wright and Sean Platt, 
Now, I've mentioned those guys on the show before, uh, friends with them. I, I know Dave a little bit better than I know Sean, but I know Sean a little bit too. He's a good guy. Very, very talented writers. They write as Collective Inkwell. That's the name of their company. They do dark horror stories. And I've been very curious to read this book. This would be a very, very dark story. Dave had told me quite some time ago how he had started working on it. And it's something that uh, he had had, uh, I think he had had the idea for this story for quite some time. And, you know, for whatever reason, you know, it was just until recently that he started writing it. So, um, if you like dark horror stories, I encourage you to check it out. As of right now, it just came out today, like I said, on June 30th. And uh, it's for a limited time for your e-readers. It's only on Amazon.com, at least, I know. It's 99 cents. I think it's normally going to be $3.99. So, check that out. You got an e-reader, 99 cents. Come on. And these guys are really established... uh, well-respected writers. So Crash by Sean Platt and David Wright. Check it out. So speaking of crashing, I don't really know what happened, but I got into my car today and I saw that I had like a big dent in like my front fender and there's like some green paint on there. I guess some bozo, you know, went to open their door and they like messed up my car. And I tell you, I try to be peaceful, I try to be loving, but man, that kind of thing pisses me off. You know what else pisses me off? I was thinking about this earlier, too. One of my big pet peeves is when you're somewhere, it doesn't matter where you are, and you're saying hi to somebody, and they totally blow you off. I've had this happen a lot. I know it used to happen a lot when I worked at DuPont. And uh, I don't get it. You know, I guess people, I understand people getting wrapped up in their days, wrapped up in their lives, and, you know, not everyone's going to be, like, happy every day. I get that. But if you're walking somewhere and you're just like, hi, how you doing? And the, you just get stone face, and they just keep walking. I'm sorry, but I, I don't get it. I mean, how hard is it even to just say hi? You don't have to, like, get into a lengthy conversation. I don't want a lengthy conversation. I'm just being polite. So, uh, I'll tell you, I'm not going to be so polite now. I mean, for you people that, like, blow off other people and never say hi, well, at least the ones that have done it to me, I wish you a very, you know, well, I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. No, really, seriously, fuck you. I mean, you can't say hi, fuck you. Uh, there goes the PG rating for this episode of Walking Buddy. Anyway, I'm going to walk uh, back to my home now. And I uh, wanted to tell you about some cool things that are going on. First of all, we got the 4th of July coming up this weekend, which is fantastic. If you uh, celebrate the 4th of July, and I think most people do, please try to do that. Also try to remember what it's about. It's a reason to get drunk and shoot off fireworks. I mean, you can do that any old time, can't you? But just remember... You know, if you're an American, you know, what a great country we have, and it really, really is. Yes, we have problems. Every place has got problems. Yes, it's not perfect, but, uh, you know, we got freedom, and damn it, that's just awesome. You can look at all the crap that goes on in politics, and there's a lot of crap, believe me, but uh, really, we're very, very lucky here in America. So, what else do I want to talk about? Well, you know, that's probably the main thing. Let me see. I talked about getting engaged. I could talk about that forever. I got to tell you. And, uh, oh, geez. What did I want to tell you? Oh, music. I want to talk about music. Um, Beach Boys. Have I ever talked about the Beach Boys on one of these shows? Summertime. Listen to the Beach Boys. Uh, Lisa and I have been kind of jamming to some Beach Boys stuff when I was down there. And, uh, the solo works of Brian Wilson. I encourage everybody to check out, especially his Smile album, which had begun as a project for the Beach Boys. Also, that Lucky Old Son, which just be called Lucky Old Son. Great, great solo album. His uh, check it out on Spotify if you get a chance. Also, I want to uh, say again that uh, Dave and Sean have that book out, Crash. Be sure to check that out. And uh, this is, this is like, sincere. Um, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who was uh, wishing Lisa and I 
well and congratulations after we announced that we were engaged. We did that, you know, like I said last week and we had like hundreds and hundreds of likes and well wishes on Facebook and in other places. So, you know, what was already a wonderful, amazing experience was made even more wonderful and amazing with that coming from people who cared about us. So thank you very much. And I'm going to wrap this one up. I want to tell you, though, that I um, did a show last night for Sunday Night Fiction Club. And we did that uh, because Fourth of July is right around the corner. We did that on Great Patriotic Stories. And you can find that uh, on my other channel here on YouTube. You just type in Sunday Night Fiction Club. Or you know what? I'm going to make your life easier for you because I'm that kind of guy. I'll put a link here at the bottom of this video. So uh, check that out. It was a fun show. Uh, Melissa and I hosted it, as always. The wonderfully talented and very cool Melissa Lummis. And we had a lot of great participation from our live viewers. I tell you, I love doing that show. It's fun because we've got regulars who tune in every Sunday night at 10. And they join in on the comments. You know, we can read their comments live on the air. They can chime in on their thoughts on what our topic is or just anything. We do a lot of joking around, a lot of laughing on that show. So uh, check that out if you get a chance. Also, I'm hoping to have a new buddies writing show some night this week. And also, I've started this thing up. Um, I talked about this on one of the other shows for Music Monday, where I do a blog posting on my website at www.buddygot.com. Pretty easy one for to, for for me to remember, yeah, because it's my name. Hope it's easy for you to remember too. But I'm going to do that shortly when I get back. I'm going to do a posting on three great songs from the '80s that you may not know. And I'm going to touch upon things from the very early 80s, stuff that might have been like more popular on MTV than it was on the radio. If you were an MTV viewer back then, you might know the stuff. But uh, if you just listen to the radio or you're, you're a little bit too young to have been around back then, you might not know these songs. So check it out because I have really good taste in music. All right, folks, I'm wrapping this one up. Thank you for tuning in. Lisa, I love you. You know what? Whole world, I love you. Except for you bastards who don't say hi back to me when I say hi. Work on that, okay? And I'll talk to you all soon, okay? Yep, shot in my chest, I guess. So anyway, thanks again, everybody. See you soon. Bye.